in the middle of one of the world's largest deltas, an island is gradually disappearing. Anwara Begum, a widow whose family were once wealthy farmers. Over the years, she has witnessed how nature can take everything away. I used to live in an area called Shikdabari, where we used to own a lot of farmland and dozens of homes. But over the years, everything got gradually washed away by the sea. There's no trace of it anymore, all gone. And that eventually forced me to move and stay here with my grandson. The Bangladesh government estimates that nearly 6 million people are displaced each year due to river erosions. Most of the people living here in slums like this here in Dhaka are what you could call now climate change migrants. They've moved here because many of them have lost their homes and farmlands to coastal erosion and rising sea levels. According to the UN's Children Fund UNICEF 2019 report, climate-linked environmental disaster are threatening the lives and future of more than 19 million children in Bangladesh. Monwara Begum was just a teenager when she moved to Dhaka from Bola to find work. Everything we had out there was destroyed by river erosion and rising water levels. It's very hard to make a living there anymore or find a place to stay. The increase in water salinity due to rising sea level is not only damaging farmlands but harming mangrove forests. Everything is finished because of salt water. We used to have great harvesting before, but nowadays due to high salinity content in the land, crops are getting damaged and not growing well. Even cows don't graze here anymore. Take a look at these plants. Some environmental experts are optimistic about U.S. President Joe Biden's new climate policy. Biden has come as a refreshing uh, attitude on climate change in USA. Before that, there was almost an uncivilized system in the USA four years of withdrawal from the climate convention, which was a disaster and huge amount of accumulated greenhouse gas. At the same time, the commitment for $100 billion per year that is expecting the, expected by the developing countries must be faced. In a recent media interview, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said that Bangladesh loses 2% of its GDP to extreme climate events every year and spends 2.5% of its GDP on climate adaptations. Bangladesh contributes merely 0.35% of global carbon emissions, yet it is people like Anwara Begum who are paying the price for global warming. For them, climate diplomacy means very little. Tanvir Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, Bangladesh.